Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a progress video on my latest build, the AMT 125th scale Peterbilt 359 California hauler. Uh, this particular truck is a 1967 model year, that's what I'm designating it. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we got done, which is a lot. So here's the uh, mocked up truck. And as you can see here, here's the deep, oops, I dropped her. Here's the Detroit Diesel 8V71 engine that will go in it. Um, I painted mine white. Most people would paint it alpine green because that's what most Detroits were painted back then. But anyway, since that, during that era, the engines, all three engine manufacturers were pretty much painting their engines white. Uh, I was basically uh, researching and it was to better detect engine leaks. Um, I think most people probably didn't like the white engines. But anyway, for this one, I, I, that's what I did. So yeah, I dirtied up the engine a little bit. It's just got some road grime. Painted the transmission red. Unfortunately, my kit was missing the alternator and the drive belt for the air compressor. So I had to take those parts from the other Peterbilt 359 kit that I have in my stash, which is the first generation of this uh, California hauler series. So the engine's pretty much buttoned up. Uh, the exhaust manifolds I painted in a rustic matte pink. A lot of the, from what I've seen, a lot of the uh, manufacturers were painting their, when their engines were being built, they were painting their exhaust manifolds in this flat pink color. So that's what I was trying to duplicate here. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I got the filters painted today, so the engine's pretty much buttoned up. Next step is to drop it into the frame, so like you've heard before, in frame. So, alright, and then here's the intake pipe. There's the, uh, it was chrome, so I primered it and I got it painted in a metallic aluminum. I did the elbow right there, the connector, in a flat black because it's rubber. And of course that top uh, piece there, that goes on top of the blower. So, all right, now let's get to the truck. So the color that I used is Rust-Oleum's Lagoon Blue, gloss, gloss Lagoon Blue. I was Since it's a 1960s, late 60s truck, I wanted to really go for a color that was more common back then. I, uh, I did... I did it with the stripes there. I used the uh, Tim Archibald trucking and Midnight Rider decals on it. Um, I did the same striping with the sleeper and added some sleeper details there. The uh, rooftop air conditioner I painted white. This is based on an actual Peterbilt 359 that I saw in a picture. So that's where I got my ideas. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, tear her down. So. Here's the hood. I'm really impressed with this truck. The, uh, yeah, there's the hood there. Uh -oh. Anyway, yeah, so there's the hood. It came out pretty well. You got the markers on there. There's your, uh, your headlamps. Yeah, the decals went on pretty well. I f did have to fight with them for a little bit, but eventually I got them the way I wanted, so. All right, so it's the hood. Let's go ahead and remove the sleeper here. And I got the sleeper done. Now, I did have an issue with some cracking in the paint, but you're not gonna see it. As you can see, as I take it away from the light, you don't, you can't even tell. So I'm not worried about it at all. It's in the, it's the back of the sleeper. From, from afar, it looks pretty nice, so. Yeah, that's the sleeper. There's the uh, AC duct there and the little roof hatch. I like the decals. I, I colored the uh, steps in a uh, with a silver marker. So, All right, there's the sleeper. I did not paint the bed because you're not going to see it anyway, so I figured just throw it in there. What the hell? All right, so here's the cab. And the cab came out very nice the decals laid down nicely um, everything everything fit very well no major issues at all there's a close-up of the rooftop AC there's your marker lights and there's the firewall detail 
and the uh, floorboard there. There's your lube refiner. Let's go ahead and show off that interior. Uh, oops. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's the interior. The uh, firewall glues onto the interior and then just slide it in. There's that beautiful dashboard with the wood grain. Um, this kit was also missing the hand parking brake. So I had to take that from the other kit too. Uh, the the um, there's their steering column with the beautiful white steering wheel. Comes with a decal. The decals laid on pretty nice. I did have to use some uh, setting solution several times to get a couple of them to really go down, but nonetheless everything looks good. The door panels and the rest of the wall is uh, semi gloss black to give it that black leather look, and then the very top door panel inserts. I painted a uh, nutmeg color to give it that leather brown. I will run a coat of gloss over them. It was a flat coat. So yeah, that's the dash. Same color as the truck. Floorboard I did in a flat black to give it that rubber mat look. And then you can see the pedals down there. Pedals were painted in uh, metallic aluminum, metallic silver color. Okay, so that's that. Here's the chassis. Chassis went together very well. I didn't have any warpage issues. There's the battery box, your uh, extra air tank, left fuel tank. Okay, there's your wheels. Uh oh, drive line. Drive at the front of the drive line. Looks like it's going to fall out. I'll have to re glue it. It's been kind of bugging me. Anyway, I did some very minor weathering on the underside of the chassis there because I figured, hey, I don't want, I didn't want it to be showroom so i you know the guy cleans it and so it's gonna and it uses it to work so it's gonna have a little bit of wear and some dirtiness so yeah i did some some road grime weathering underneath like i said this peterbilt came out very well so far it's been very easy i've had very minimal issues i used some uh stain and grease on the top of the fifth wheel to give it that lubrication look it's probably that's probably not what people usually do i'm kind of new at that i plan on doing that to all my trucks there's your mud flaps and you can see your uh, tail lights and your license plate i got the uh the platform with the diamond plating installed and yeah so that's the chassis for you so yeah next step now that i got all the uh got all the major assemblies done is to get this thing buttoned up from here on out i'll get the engine in um i got a oh, one speaking of which one thing i that is keeping me from getting the interior permanent is um the windshield panels uh i can't seem to figure out how to get them to fit properly they're, they're i've tried both of them a little confused with them but i'll get them figured out the other the other glass the door glass and the passenger lower glass pieces in no problem but yeah i gotta get the windshield panels in before i can finally get the interior in, and then get the cab on permanently um so yeah that's the that's all the major work you can see the uh radiator sitting there there's the uh main fan belt got your uh exhaust piping and your um, lower cab filler pieces there so yeah so now, now the next step is just to get this all buttoned up slowly but surely so that's the update video that i plan on putting out for this truck and uh, stay tuned for the slideshow video thanks for watching